Burgard Rippy here. Monday, July the 1st. I'm at Upper Valley Pike Mall, Springfield, Ohio. What's left of it? This um, was Sears at one time in the Sears Auto Center. And uh, does, does that look like a photo mat almost? And we'll be going across the street here in a minute. There's the main sign. This is very busy right here, actually. There's people going in here. It's not marked. The cinema is closed. The last time I was here, they were doing a Star Trek movie. And that place was packed. When, so you can uh, charge an electric vehicle out here. SEMA Connect. Just tons of handicap parking. And uh, this, the CBS is selling drugs like crazy. Uh, it was a JC Penny anchor on the other end of the Sears on the other. Beautiful malt one time. The Firestone Complete Auto Care looks pretty busy. Everybody getting ready for that road trip this weekend. I'm kind of beating the crowd. Here on July the 1st, I have no idea what's in here other than just a retail store of some kind. They had a pilot or a pilot. Okay, we're in a shopping mall. With the gumball machines. Those would be collector's items. Uh, the nail salon looks pretty busy. They're selling pizzas and Chinese food. Okay, um, I went to go to, uh, uh, we had a Target store here. Are these 20 bucks? That's what they are to do. Pretty nice subway. Still wonder what all the traffic is. Um, the people that work here, you think all those cars belong to? This looks like a bank. A jewelry store at one time. And then the, kind of how they set that up. It's just a internet lounge. One of the cool things. We're nearing uh, the main north to south mall area. This is where it all used to happen. It was J.C. Penny down on that end. I see a Foot Locker. There's like you know, quarter mile walk in each direction here. The Sears is gone now. We thought that Sears would be here, and I never did get to go to a Target since uh, 1993 was the last time I was in a Target. So there's a janitor, a custodian. It smells clean. Um, I'm just kind of guessing what that would have been. She's pushing her baby car. He bought some items. Proactive acne. A vending machine for acne treatment. Okay. Somebody's really ambitious there. Yeah, I just didn't feel ambitious today. Entered a winter uh, golf cart. Not sure what's going on with this. A wishing well coin thing. Just throw your money away, just throw it in there. A money pet. Oh, I thought that was going to be a pepper shop. And I'd like to go back to Albuquerque. They have little pepper shops in their malls, but... That's Bath and Body Works. I think they're uh, based out of Columbus, Ohio. One of the last Wexner's companies. Some more cool uh, gumball machines there. Plenty of gumballs and gummies. Uh, yeah, I'd like to buy one of them couches from my living room. This store looks like it was open not too long ago. I'm not sure. Some special clothes in there. I smell incense. These guys are planning some business. Uh, roof leaking a little bit there. Some kind of an emporium here. 
uh, just like imports and things. All kind of, um, like Hummel figures, it's just a whole stool full of knickknacks. A precious moments collector. So, some valuable stuff in there, and over here it looks like Nike stuff by the truckload. A huge, a huge shoe store. Wow. So that would be a good spot to maybe find a clearance on a, on a pair that would fit you. This place looks cool. So it looks like they're closed over there. So I'd like to walk in here actually. 50% off any item inside. And the big wheel is 370. This has actually been used. This is an actual antique wheel. They're, they're, you know, kind of a conversation piece. These are antiques. There's a hospital to bed there if you need one. A little Tiffany lamp. Wow, an antique store in here with, um, check it out, guys. Eureka. 373 on the. So here we go. And I, somebody built their own trash bin there. Half off everything in here. Some beautiful antiques. It's a nice store. It's a beautiful mall. So over here is just a bicycle section. Parakeet cage. Tribal. Howdy. Great, thanks. Uh, so, cool. Golfing. Just goes on and on. There's some sort of exercise machine there. A whole uh, section of exercise equipment. So here's couches and beds. $2,000 mattress. Um, is that a barbershop thing? Sort of kitchen. So we're, we're in kind of the back. Another hospital bed. Uh, a shoe sign stand. That's what that is. A modern type of a shoe sign stand. Or a massage chair. That's what that is foot massage okay that's probably what they use when they give you a pedicure I've never seen one so I'm just taking a guess there's kind of a tribal kind of a cowboy looking piece I'm not gonna walk back in there outdoor furniture snow blower what was that 50s but yeah so we went into the mall we ended up in an antique shop inside the mall. Yeah, you'd think there'd be more art. But yeah, wood furniture. Is this a Victrola? Yes. A player. Says, do not touch on it. Actually, I seen one of them the other day and he said 500. I thought two was a lot. So, uh, cupboard. Large array. The 50s style diner. Table for your kitchen. In yellow. Nice, nice pair of chairs there. And uh, this is more modern looking. Almost outdoor. Yeah, I'm at the Upper Valley Pike Mall, Springfield, Ohio, everyone. Uh, thank you for watching my videos. Over to be.